Pinkie Pie and the Rockin' Pony Party by G.M. Barrows. Chapter 5. Hard Times on Rock Farm. Her family all wore blank expressions as Pinkie twirled with glee. It was obvious that Ignatius Rock had dealt with Pinkie's exhausting energy many times before. He stood patiently for a while, waiting for her to calm down. But soon he grew tired of the act. All right now, he said. That's enough. But Pinky was too excited to notice his disapproval. Meanwhile, Twilight, Applejack, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash and Rarity stood close by. They'd heard a lot about Pinky's days growing up on the rock farm, but they'd never met Pinky's family before. Some of the other party-going ponies started to gather round too. They were also curious to learn more about the relations of the most popular pony in town. It was good that her family was totally fun too. Hi Mum. Hey there Dad. How's it going Marble? What's new Limestone? Where's... Hi Mum. Hey there, Dad. How's it going, Marble? What's new, Limestone? Where's... Mister is keeping an eye on the farm. Igneous cut her off. So that's Igneous, not Ignatius, sorry. Oh, okay. What are you doing there? I'm so totally surprised. Pinky skipped. And what are you doing here? I'm so totally surprised. Pinky skipped. Around them. Are you here to party? I planned all this. They're really cool. Pink Amina, Diane Pie! Igneous interrupted. We are not here to party. Pinky stopped still. You're not? No. Cloudy Quartz replied. Marble and Limestone shook their heads. Well, why did you come to a party then, you bunch of silly heads? A party is the absolute worst place to not party! <laughs> a couple of ponies laughed. Pink Amina, you do not start with me! Cloudy warned, looking down. Sorry. Pinky said, her mane deflating. I'm just excited to see you. It's been super long. You never usually leave the farm. Oh, is something wrong with Rocky? Who's Rocky? Cloudy asked. Rocky's my pet rock, Mum. He's grey, lumpy, and about this big. Pinky motioned with her hooves. I definitely introduced you to him. Oh replied Cloudy Quartz. Anyway, I only left him... B anyway, I only left him back at the farm because he said he'd miss all of his rock buddies. Pinky explained to her friends. She turned back to her parents. Marble and Limey promised to look after him. Marble Pie's face remained blank. Limestone. Pie blinked. Igneous cleared his throat and started to pace back and forth across the grass. Got nothing to do with pep rocks or parties, Pink Amina. Well, why are you guys in Ponyville then, Dad? Huh? 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 Pinky looked at the faces of her family but couldn't read them all couldn't read them at all Ooh, let me guess are we going on a family holiday to Appaloosa or I know I know you came to bring me some of Granny Pie's scrumptious rock cakes no that's not it okay I give up tell me 
Pinky's eyes were practically popping out of her head with excitement. Your mother, sisters and I are here. For a very important reason, Igneous began. Pinky frowned. Whatever it was, it didn't sound fun at all. It sounded serious. Her gut round that you are friends with, Igneous looked round nervously, realising that he had an audience of curious Ponyville residents watching his every move. We heard that you might know... Igneous puffed up his chest and finally announced, We are here to see Her Royal Highness Princess Twilight Sparkle regarding an urgent business matter. We need to see the princess, Cloudy said. The sisters nodded in unison. Pinky's face dropped. You're not here to party or to see me? I'm sorry, but we have to talk to the princess. And then get back to the farm right away. I'm sorry, but we have to talk to the princess and get back to the farm right away. Cloudy replied. We don't have time for any of this party nonsense. Oh, I see. Pinky sighed. It's not nonsense, Twilight said, stepping forward. And I'm right here. Everybody turned to look at Twilight, who up until now had been blending into the crowd. Usually she preferred that everyone treated her like they did before. She became a princess. Twilight still wasn't used to all the attention, but she... would do anything to help a friend, and it seemed like Pinky needed her to play the princess role today. Twilight spoke in her most regal voice, Welcome to our fair Ponyville, she bowed. Igneous, Cloudy, Marble and Limestone bowed their heads and leaned their front hoofs on the grass to show their respect. Princess, Igneous Rock said, thank you for having us. We'd be so grateful if you'd help us out. I'll help in any way that I can, Mr. Rock, Twilight said. Pinky is, after all, one of my best friends, my very best friends. Cloudy and the sisters looked down at their hoofs, embarrassed at how they'd just treated Pinky in front of royalty. That's great, your royal highness, said Igneous, taking off his hat, but he didn't sound too happy. It's great news, because we are about to lose the rock farm. What? Pinkie Pie leaped into the air. How dreadful! exclaimed Rarity. Oh no! cried Rainbow Dash. Those poor little rocks! Fluttershy whispered. Pinky, are you okay? asked Applejack, giving her friend a glance. <laughs> were white with terror, and she stood frozen to the spot. Fluttershy and Rarity looked concerned. Somebody poke her, said Rarity. Her stand still before. I've never seen her stand, stand still before. Spike ran over and gave her a gentle nudge. Are you okay, Pinky? Pinky looked up, her face still full of, her face full of sadness. Everybody go home, she said. This party is over. Everyone gasped. No one ever expected to hear Pinkie Pie say such a thing. And that was chapter five of Pinkie Pie and the Rockin' Pony Party. Next time, chapter six. The Pink Sheep of the Family. Until then. Thanks for watching.